this is a video on volume. We're gonna look at two volumes, a volume of a rectangular box and a volume of a, a prism. So, but before we do that, I want to explain what a volume is. When you look at this box, in our last video, we did the surface area. So surface area is the outside part. So it's that part and that part, that part, that part, that, and the bottom one. The volume is the space that this box takes. It's everything that the box takes in the environment. It's the space that it covers. It's everything, in, including the inside. So that's how um, volume and surface area differs. So when you calculate the volume, in Metzlid, you will always be given formulas. So when you are given a formula in a question paper, they're not just putting it there to be, to be spiteful. Use the formula. They expect you to use the formula and the formula will be guiding you. Okay, so we're going to start with a rectangular box. Okay, let me explain, um, before we look at this question, let me explain the volume. Let's say you are in a class, in a classroom, ne? okay. The floor and the top, the ceiling and the walls, that would be your surface area. And then the volume is all the space in the classroom everywhere. Everywhere the space, um, that's your volume. So when we are calculating volume, we are calculating the space inside the box, in the space that the box takes. Okay, let's see. We are given a formula here. You'll always be given a formula. Volume is equal to length times breadth times height. In our question, our length is 8 meters times our breadth is 6 meters and multiply our height is 3 meters. Then you take that to put it in your calculator. So you have 144 meter cube. Do you see you multiply the meter times a meter times a meter? So it's a meter cube. Volume always have the units in cubes. You remember when you're doing area, always the volume is in square, the, not the volume, the units are in squared. So with volume, the meters are in cube. And also very important, don't cube the number, cube the units. Let's look at this uh, volume of a cylinder. Now here we're given a cylinder and we're given the dimension. The radius is two meters. The height of the cylinder is 50 meters. And the cylinder is calculated with pi. So pi is a number that will be given in your, in your exam. It's just a number. It's 3.114. So when you calculate the volume of this, its volume is equal to pi 3.14 multiplied by radius squared is radius times radius. So you can write uh, 2 times 2 or you can say 2 squared which means 2 times 2, multiplied by height is 50 meters. Then punch it in your calculator. So the volume of this cylinder is 628 meters cube. Okay, this is how you calculate the volume of a cylinder. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. <laughs>